All right, this is Support and Resistance 101. And I promise after you learn what I'm going to teach to you today, let's go ahead and look at the price action on lower time because price is fractal and um, the way it moves on a one minute or a 30 second or a 10 second or a daily chart or an hour, it does the same thing it does on the higher time frames as it does on the lower time frames. I proved this with a one second chart the other day using this exact kind of uh, way of looking at price here. All right, so I went ahead and went long and I'll explain to you why. All right, we're going to break down how price moves so you guys understand price movement. That way, later in the video, you guys have a better understanding. You're not feeling lost. Okay, so there's four basic things that price does at any given time that you can identify in price, understand which phase price is in. So price consolidates, it has an impulse leg, and then you get a retracement. Price then consolidates, the consolidation, move up, retracement, consolidation like that. We'll go further into like actually what it looks like later. So eventually, as this goes on, you're going to think it's going into a normal retracement, but then boom, you're slapped with a reversal that takes out that low that was consolidating. And then this kind of repeats, right? Repeats and repeats. So it actually goes more like this, consolidates, impulse leg, consolidates again. And then you're like, huh, why is it consolidating, not retracing? Uh, it's because you'll be thinking it's going into a retracement, but what's actually happening, you're about to get a reversal that's going straight into an impulse leg, the opposite direction. So here is your OG consolidation. That's what I like to call your OG consolidation. And here's your impulse leg up. There's your retracement downwards. Your, what I call a short-term consolidation. Next impulse leg up. Retracement down, short-term consolidation, impulse leg up, short-term consolidation. You think, uh, huh, that's weird, no retracement. Oh, I'll just go ahead and go long thinking it's just going to pop this high. But really all it's doing is getting ready to flush everybody, take out these lows, come back to this original consolidation, suck all the shorts in, and then once all the shorts are sucked in, it's going to rip back up. It may or may not take out that high, but I'm going to teach you guys how to know if it will do that. I suggest you guys screenshot this. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to do that. And then I'll hold this here so you can screenshot these as well. All right, so now let's go find it in the price action. You should expect that price will come back down to this previous high here that is here because this area of here did not, it's not balanced. There's no selling that took place. So once price comes back into there, sellers then sell into this area, it is then balanced. It is then complete. You can, so now you have a loop. It has to be both buying and selling in areas like it did here, for example. See how the buying was really, it's just one-sided. It's all buying that went up. So what's price do? it creates that loop. You have a consolidation right there. And once selling takes place, and then it can go back up. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Some characteristics of the areas that I look for that need to be brought back down to. All one side of the market. If you have areas all selling, and then what do they do? They bring it back up to where? To this last area of buying there. You have all buying in this area. What do they do? They offer selling in that area of all buying. And then we can go on. It goes on like this. It's a it's an endless loop of price action. This is what is taking place at all times, on all time frames, all the time. All buying, what do they do? In this area of all buying, they sell. So areas of buying need to be sold into, and then it needs to be balanced. Once you have buying and then selling, 
It is then balanced. And it now becomes a consolidation that is both buying and selling. Price tried to come up here, but it didn't come to that low there, did it? No, it did not. So they need to re-deliver it. Previous low to the left is then re-delivered perfectly. Like what, by almost a point. That's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is how to identify these areas and how to make money from it because that's why we're trading, right? All fine and dandy to learn, but if you're not making money with it and if you're not using it in your trading, what's the point? I see a lot of people watching a lot of content but they're never actually using it. And that's what I want to help you guys to do. So the market's about to open here. This will give us here a couple seconds here to go ahead and push up here. Why? Because this area here, you have a consolidation price moved away from it, right? So what's price going to do? It's, it's going to re-deliver there. Like I just showed you guys in uh, tag it. So you have about 20 seconds to the New York opening here. I'm going to go ahead and exit some of this now. Even though I know it's going there, this is a live account, a funded account, so I don't want to lose it. You guys saw me call this when price was here. I said price would go there. It's now the New York opening here. All right, so I'm going to take one more of these off. I have multiple accounts that are long, so I need to be able to weave my way in and out. Boom. How you guys like them apples? Beautiful, right? Like, it, it, it's a beautiful thing once you learn how to do it. I promise you guys. You'll have such confidence in your trades. You'll be able to look at price in a whole different way. If I could reach as many people as I want to, I'd teach this to everybody. So everybody can be profitable. Okay, so if we look beyond this high, it's still probably going to reverse here. I don't think they'll take out this high. They could, but I don't think they will. See how now it's starting to lose a little bit of oomph there. I'm going to go ahead and exit this. All right, now... I think price is going to go down to here, right? We've had our move up, I filled that in to that low here, filled it in, went a little bit further. You see what's going on here? You had all buying. So what are they doing? They're re-delivering it. We know that we can go short, expecting it to come down to at least here, at least to 87. So let's go ahead and put a line on there. That'd be first target. Boom, delivered. Now, I don't know if it will do, if it will go here or if it will, it will go here, but I did know that once we started moving this way, that this was the objective for price. Hopefully that makes sense. I can predict where price is going once I see it moving there. I can make an educated guess, but I don't know 100% until um, I see price moving towards an area. And then once it's moving towards an area, I can be like, okay, yeah, that's what it's doing. You had all selling here. You have a previous low. And then price is revisiting this area. If it's going up, it could be going to here because you had all selling. Right? I can go long knowing that price is probably going to come up to here. If that needs to re-deliver to there, there. Boom, see that guys? You see this? Like you can't make it up, right? Like it's way too accurate. Let's talk about why it uh, reversed right here. So what is that right there? Right where my stop's at, right here. What's that? That's a doji. So think of dojis as a consolidation. All right, so I just mentioned dojis in the video. I wanna stop and break this down to you real quick. Dojis are balanced and act as a resistance and support because they are both buying and selling. It's indecision in a candlestick. If you were on a five minute, if you dropped down the 15 minute and looked at that five minute doji, this is what you'd see. You'd see a rally, consolidation, and then a drop from that doji there. So the doji is actually the consolidation that is taking place because it's buying up, selling down, balance. So these dojis can act as support and resistance. If I was you, I would go ahead and screenshot this and save it and kind of study it because it's important. I think I'm the only person that I've ever heard mention dojis as support and resistance. It's kind of something I found out just by studying price. So 
if we take this doji here and we measure high to low the full doji and we find the halfway point if price comes into here we want to see this halfway point act as support and not get a close below it these are great entries to trades because they work for one and then we know where we're wrong if you wait for price to come down here kind of like bounce for a second now you know that you can put your stop there risk very very minimal and know that if price goes below here you're wrong and it's probably going to continue downward so very powerful and uh you'll see lots of examples of this in the video let's get back into it price moves up aggressively it needs to uh, come back down to a balanced area and that is a balanced area now price is coming back down where is it going to come back down to here right because it's balanced you have buying and selling now if it's going to continue up this is where it should find support now these lows and highs that are balanced you take the high to low of balanced areas you go like this you put a 50 percent on there which is right where that red line's at these areas of 50 percent of the the high to low of a balanced area should act as support beyond 50 percent they're usually not very good areas and you should be wary of them doesn't mean they won't act as support and resistance but you definitely need to look into it and figure out why we look at earlier when price came up to here we put the high to low and then where did it re reject from the 50 percent of it now this is a long video but it, it's simple to understand but complex to trade i guess you could say because price is moving so it's not like price is just coming to these areas and standing still for a minute it's moving we have to watch out for any other balanced areas before that on lower time frames if you don't have access to a 30 second chart i highly suggest you do it it is going to be your best friend what do we have here we have a balanced area you have selling and buying we're going to take the low too high of that and also put a line on our charts there we learned that previous lows and highs um, act as support and resistance. So in a trending kind of environment, price will not dip down 50% into the low to high here. It's just going to come back to the previous high to the left. Everything you need to know is on the left side of price action. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording here. So it actually reversed right here coming lower if it goes below these areas that were balanced then you should expect it to be targeting downside but if it's going up and you have a balanced area it moved up above and then it it breaks that low that is then a reversal signal price then should do one of two things it's either going to go into the 50 percent of the previous balance area or it's looking even further. It's looking for other places that weren't balanced. Is this one that I pointed out? I've had on my chart since this morning. So we'll go ahead and measure this balanced area here. You see there, it's already over halfway of it. That means with a good likelihood that it's probably going to come down to here. Since I know that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to another account here that's where you want to be entering short is right once it comes back to here and then where do you put your stop above the 50 percent of the high to low because if it is in fact going to continue lower it's going to um not go past that area there let's go low to high and then there is my stop loss is going to go in this area here we have a doji here this should balance buying and selling or it should offer resistance i think i may be the only one that's ever thought of dojis like this other people tell you oh no it's got to be an up or down close candle for to offer support or resistance which just isn't true so what happened here came back to where the the low of the balance area there to the tick 
too accurate to be anything but an algorithm or a computer trading that. Like I said, it's a two pass ordeal. The first pass went to the bottom of to low of it. Let's let's look at this here because it's just too too uh, perfect, guys. It really is. You have the low to the high. There's the fifty percent of the low to high of the balanced area, and where's price rejecting from? The fifty percent of it. It's too accurate. It's incredible, is what it is. I really like how the price action is moving in through here. Like slow into the fifty percent. Go ahead and enter short there. Stop goes now above this high because it doesn't need to come back up here. It should not come back up here. If it comes back up here, then the thesis is wrong. So you guys notice how I showed you stop outs? It's because they happen. I'm going to get it wrong sometimes. Now I'm going to take one off as it, as it goes into this doji here. Dojis are dangerous for reversals. See so on the low like this, this is a doji you want to be very careful of. That, very dangerous. So we want to see price going through this pretty quickly. I'm even going to switch accounts and uh, take one off on these ones too. Two there. There, went through it. Nice. So moving right along here. You can use it to um, predict where price is going. And you see me prove that it works. Hopefully I have uh, done that here today. The goal is to provide you guys with the proof needed that you see it, believe it, and will go into the price action, implement it, and change your life with it. It's a common theme these days for people to watch but not use it. I teach a lot of traders. Uh, I'll ask them, do you try what we talked about? And they'll tell me no. And I just like, huh? It just is mind boggling to me. I started thinking about why that it, why didn't they use it? Did they not believe me? Was what I said not convincing? Did I not show enough proof? And I came to um, understand that what it was is that they didn't see me using it live. Like you can look at indicators and see like, oh wow, there's a cross there, price went up. But in the moment, very difficult to use indicators in real time because looking at a dead example is not going to help you much. All right, so prices continue down here. I'm going to take one more of these off in my live account here. I'll go ahead and let the uh, the rest run in these other accounts. Take some off in these other ones. So I think I'm trading three or four accounts right now. So go ahead and buy two of these. And then you guys will see here um, where price is going to go. There. Okay, now I want to talk about previous consolidations, lows and highs, and how we can use this very simple concept to really, really profit from the market. So let's say above we have a low to the left that we see here in Price has not came up and visited that low yet. Like it dropped down, it just hasn't, and it came back around here, but it hasn't came back up to this. What I like to do is I like to just put a line on my chart here, like consolidation low, and then it's always going to be a two pass system. So the way price fills these um, areas in is it will come up. And it will touch that low, like to the tick, offer a amazing trade. You usually come back to this first uh, pullback here, and then come back up into the 50% of that consolidation there. So you get a really, really solid trade here, with low risk, really, really high reward. You can enter short there, target there, uh, scale out once you get to this first pull back here and then once you touch into here find support create a small consolidation that's when you will just exit flip long and then target the middle of the consolidation to fill the rest of that in it is an a plus plus setup um, that i love to trade here's actually a model that i created uh, using this 
This occurs during my second turnaround time. If you don't know what that is, check out the video that talks about macros in it. Um, all right, so you have a low here that forms, and then they run that liquidity there. They take out these equals highs, and then they drop and break this low right here. And then it, it's a fast drop. It comes back, kind of grinds its way up there. You get that first test here. Beautiful trade here. Um, and it happens about the same time every day too. So there's an example. I would screenshot this. I'll zoom in so you guys can. It's definitely an A-plus setup. Happens at 12.45 to 1.15 usually. All right, let's get back to the video. I just wanted to break that down for you because I'm sure I'm talking about the previous highs and lows. But I don't think I ever actually broke it down. So there's that doji, right? That's your doji. And then so you had all buying here up. So price made its way down here. Now the question is, does this consolidation here offer resistance and send it lower? Or is it bouncing there because that's was it its objective? This is a good um, case study here. Chose to use this little consolidation here, but you could obviously take the low, the high of this swing up because it's buying, selling, it's balanced. So price is rejecting there. That's good. And let's take the low, the high of this and see where the 50% is at. It didn't quite get there either. So that's a very bearish reaction there. But like I said, it's always two passes. You have to keep that in mind. It did come up here once. And then reject it doesn't mean it won't drop back down come back up and finish it off so i want to point this out that where is it rejecting at just about the 50 percent there pretty spot on we'll see if it descends it lower or else if it's going to um, continue up one more push up into this right here so we came back into the 50 percent here if i see a bearish reaction here i will go ahead and add into it have a low to high up here. This is where it can get tricky. You have to wait for the reaction. And then we had our rejection at the 50% of that low to high. It rejected there. It is now pushing down into this balanced area here. Since I've been doing this recording, I've almost passed this evaluation here. Of course, it's an evaluation. It's not a live account. So I'm being a lot more aggressive than I than I would with a, uh, a live account. But still, so this is very dangerous when you see lower lows with higher highs you want to be watching out for three that line up together because that's three taps that's a wrap it can lead to really um, explosive price action to the upside so we want to make sure that what's it doesn't come down here and find support we want to see it go through this little balanced area here okay so we went down luckily thank goodness Okay, and then we'll take a couple off of this count. So I'm trading a lot of accounts here for different accounts. So that's why you're seeing it's so much profit. It's not all in one account, obviously. Scaling out is mucho, mucho importante. You have to scale out. It's like a, a non-option. Like it's something you just have to do. So let's take this doji here. We have another doji. So let's go ahead and measure it. So I'm going to take two off here. Something in my gut is telling me it's going to go up. All right, so we went through it like butter. There we go. Beautiful. We can start looking for areas a lot lower here. So I think this valuation is probably almost done. A couple more hundred dollars. Go ahead and wrap that one up and check on this one. Boom, just killing it this morning. While making a video, which I think that the stuff. I'm able to do this while I'm teaching. That means my um, level of understanding is growing. All right, let's go back to this account here. We need about not too much more. All right, so we talked about this little consolidation here earlier. Let's go ahead and measure this one. So see that, guys? Right at the 50%. So I'm going to take one more off here. I'm gonna take one off of this account. So there, we went through the 50% on that. So now... We just need to measure high to low of this. And then after that, it's going. So it didn't even get down to 50%. But we do have this one here, so we'll keep this one on our chart. And we should expect a bounce here. And then another move down. 
So we just had a big move up. I got stopped out on my live account. About a hundred twenty dollar loss, and then um, we're in drawdown in this account because I added on so low. We got our first pass there. It's just returning back to this low here. Um, so previous lows and highs are going to be your key to success here. Now, if you take this consolidation low, it's a high of it, and cut through the candles. You see acting as support here and also cut through candles in areas that are older can still act in this way. So now we have a lower low, a higher high, a swing low. So if price was to push up here past that line, it would flip bullish for a little bit. Not, not forever or anything, but for a momentarily it would be bullish. Let's go ahead and go back to this account here. Go ahead and get our money here. And then like you guys can't look at this watches. You take this leg low to high 50%. Now it's bouncing that 50%. But the fact it went past this older one, past that 50%, makes me pretty confident in the fact that it's going to go down here. We have a doji here that we need to watch out for. All right, so now is later this evening. That was this morning's session. Um, Hopefully this video covered enough to where you guys get a good understanding of what I was talking about here. Just to review it real quick. The inefficiencies in price are acting as draws for price. And then previous lows and highs, because there was all selling through here, are going to draw price up to it to attack it. And then... Uh, consolidations act as the same thing, especially if you have a big consolidation and price moves away from it fast, price will be then re-delivered to that consolidation. Um, it takes two passes. Yeah, there's a lot of information in this video. I know it's quite long. I probably over-edited it because I had almost three hours worth of recording to go through. So I have this website, verifiedfundingcompanies.com, where I verify these funding companies. By that, I mean I get payouts. I make sure they're legit. And then once I do that, I guarantee they pay you out. So, like, let's say that they wouldn't pay you out. They're being shady. Uh, any of these companies on my website, I 100% guarantee they pay you out. If you hit me up with the proof, I would then um, pay you out. So I have the best discounts in the game. Definitely check it out. It's verifiedfundingcompanies.com. All you have to do is put your email in here. Only takes a second. Push subscribe. It's a one-step process. And that is it. I appreciate you guys for watching. I truly hope this video is going to help you guys in your trading. Please help me reach more people so I can help more people um, crack the code and get this money. Because there's nothing like this in the business, you guys. Nothing else in the world like this. Unlimited income, unlimited freedom to do what you want, when you want, how you want. No other business in the world like it. So help me share it around. Appreciate you guys.